it's uh, it's really incredible festival. I don't say this because uh, I, I'm polite. It's just because it's true. It's uh, first of all tonight you have four concertos, guitar concertos, which is amazing, really, to have four concertos, four artists in the same night, and an orchestra. And, and um, yeah, the the I think this festival is really remarkable because uh, Artyom, he re really work on uh, the quality of uh, the music which is given to the public, uh, quality of artists, if I can say, and uh, also quality of repertoire. This festival is on one of the largest stages of our country. At the opening of the concert, one of the most выдающихся коллективов нашей страны это госоркестр имени Светланова под управлением Михаила Агреста. A way of listening to four top quality guitars. So, sorry for uh, praising myself, but uh, uh, yeah, four very good quality guitars playing uh, alongside each other, so you can check out different styles. You see that people who play in France are very different from people who play in South America, so you have both styles next to each other. Um, it's a discovery journey to, to watch such a concert. And, uh, when I was about nine years old, eight, eight or nine years old, I fell in love with classical music and asked to learn the piano. But we didn't have a piano and uh, we didn't have money to buy a piano. So my father said, I can teach you music, but uh, uh, later on, maybe we can uh, bring you to a school and see if you can learn the piano, but I, at least you can read scores and everything. And that's what I wanted, really. I, I learned the guitar involuntarily. Uh, and then I just came across my first serious guitar teacher completely by, by chance. So, in a way, I chose music, but the guitar chose me. I fell in love with the, 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 the sound and with the repertoire of classical guitar. It's very normal to play guitar in my country and I think in my continent, South America, where I was born, born in Chile, uh, and I grew up there. And so the guitar is the most uh, popular instrument. Apparently my parents told me, but when I came back from the first lesson, I could only play one note, but I was so proud to do it and uh, to show everybody, look, uh, I'm doing this thing. It was very simple, but just the sound was already something uh, wonderful. Я просто, видимо, родился гитаристом, потому что до того, как я начал играть на гитаре, я имитировал вот таким вот образом. И когда старший брат принес домой гитару, мне было очень интересно попробовать, как же это на самом деле. И вот когда все-таки я добрался до этого инструмента, я помню, она лежала у меня на коленях, <laughs> я бренчал по открытым струнам, Я получил, я, я помню, я как сейчас помню этот миг, мне было 6 лет, я получил невероятное удовольствие. Э, и, по-моему, в тот же вечер я попросил родителей отвезти меня учиться. The audience in Russia is very special. They have a very uh, attentive sort of listening uh, style. And you can see that classical music is very much part of many, many people's culture. And it's something that is, that is loved and enjoyed. So often when you're sitting in a concert in Russia, the, the sort of intensity of the listening is, is amazing. In this year, we have a world premiere. Это сочинение Стивена Госса, которое называется «Венецианский карнавал». Он написал его специально для фестиваля, для меня. Это очень необычное произведение. Оно небольшое, праздничное. Там собраны разные маски, которые участвуют в этом венецианском карнавале. 
I was quite interested in the idea of writing a piece about the carnival in Venice, which is a, a magical thing that's happened for centuries. Everyone dressing up, wearing carnival masks, representing different characters and going to masquerade balls. So I wanted to somehow conjure up this sort of magical uh, Venice scene with lots of people wandering around in beautiful costumes and fantastic character masks. So I looked at all the different character masks that come into the Carnival of Venice for various different stock characters, uh, Piero, Colombina, Pulci Pulcinella, Pantalone and so on. Many of them coming from the Commedia dell'arte tradition in Italy. because it's very popular, it's, it's very beautiful, it's uh, the most well-known concerto. So also it uh, attracts uh, audience or uh, public. Uh, and for me, of course, uh, at the beginning, uh, we would like to play um, some new concerto. But uh, if not possible, then for me it's okay. I mean, I enjoy very much playing this concerto. I really love it. It's, uh, it's always a compromise because everybody knows it very well. Eh? Everybody can sing it, uh, remembers a special second movement. Uh, and this way is a responsibility but, um, and a challenge. But uh, also it's a very enjoyable uh, occasion, uh, opportunity. So I really enjoyed uh, to, to play uh, Aranjuez. Гитара, конечно, полифоническая, в ней много звуков, и виртуозный гитарист может играть и мелодию, и гармонию, и бас одновременно, но э, что дает оркестр симфонический, э, дает продолжительное звучание. Гитара все-таки это щипковый инструмент, раз, и звук, вот, как бы, вот, ну, можно поколдовать чуть-чуть, но он все равно улетает. Вот, и благодаря э, оркестру можно создать более... Э, более богатые краски, более богатые положения. Quality, special quality of the guitar, of the classical guitar, especially that you have so many colors. It's like uh, everybody say the same, but uh, it's true. It's like a little, a small orchestra. People who like opera, right? They like the voice. It doesn't quite matter the music. <laughs> if the music is good, to show the voice. That is good music. The guitars are a bit like the same. If you like the guitar, you like the voice of the guitar because it's a very alive instrument. It's, it's very particular. It always feels like you are playing only to a person. And, uh, which, what is particular on this instrument is that we have um, the possibility to um, play a sound directly on the string. So it's really a physical, uh, something very physical contact with the instrument. Настоящая любовь, такой, знаете, поток, в который ты вошел, и ты из него никуда не можешь выйти.